before the war happens what of the eternal conflict no that's one for Diablo <laughs> you know the big war where so guys want to enter using the well of eternity and it fails because the night elf resistance on the lead of Malfurion yeah stopped the evasion and the well of eternity imploded Illin took some water from it and made a new well of eternity at Nordersil the world tree at Mount Hydro and etc cetera, et cetera. and this is about the story of what happened to Queen Ashara herself what did she had to do to become what she's now a Naga we will see we will see ready set go but he <laughs> oh my hell. Must be off the after explosion. I built it is over. Uh, uh, so. Oh my Jesus. What the hell? It must be after the explosion. Yeah, and there they are sinking to the bottom of the sea. And ends off with spring. Transformation. Bye bye, Quan. Jesus. You. Silly fish. It won't be long now. Your death is near. Only I can sustain you. Let go. It's not serve me. Oh, oh my, there's a horse story. <laughs> you are nothing. Nothing. Oh, Jesus, many eyes. Before you walk this land, I ruled. Nyalova. This is the sunken city of Nyalova. Magnificent. Serve me, and we will rebuild my empire. Oh, 
no, not again. Not a slave. Oh my. You've watched me for a thousand years. Well. So you know what I'm sure I'm still crazy. Take my people. With them, I will raise an army. Conquer your enemies. Build an empire. As queen. Or let me die and you will remain here a prisoner the god of nothing damn shower damn to stand against the old god You know, warlocks can also do that underwater breathing, so you would not die. Shadows take you. How big is Enzov? It was a little bit horror story about some moments. Um, I want to point two moments out, which for me are the most impressive ones. It is totally one big, great one, a very good one. But there are two things that I consider those are the best. So it will show me that Queen of Shaw is who she is. First moment is when we see the first time the city. Also, this moment. With the eyes of Enzov. A lot of eyes. Kufu was the old god of eyes. Enzov has a lot more, I think. But first, this moment. This must be Nyalova, the sunken city, which also will be spoken over one of the boss of the Emo Dream, the evil tree they call it, Ilgunath. But this is Nyalova, the sunken city, the city of the old gods, the beginning of their empire. And as this image says, and Asha has told us, this is the placement of Enzov beneath the waves. You see, Enzov is big. It is a very big, maybe one of the biggest old gods there is. And yet, yeah, this is also interesting. Because this is the first time we see in this setting the game. We saw some images of yeah, Nylofa when it was still yeah an old god empire. Was not like this a prisman. But this is the thing we see it now. Maybe this will get in game when we see it more. But I want to highlight one thing is when this happens. Queen Ashar says no to Enzov to be a servant. But listen one more time. This part. No. No? You dare. You will die. A queen! 
not a slave. Queen Oshara was still queen, was power hungry. That's why she wanted to let Sargeras enter into this world. So she, she would reign over all the world as a queen, as at her as side of Sargeras. But the Knight of Resistance, yeah, they did not do that. They did the water, they, yeah, they rejected it. They want to fight this stuff with Sargeras and Queen Oshara. And they won because that's what the wide world of Turkey imploded. And yeah, the big wave of this beautiful capital of the Night Elves yeah, was destroyed. Queen Oshara tried to save it, but not did not work. And now the Queen Oshara was talking with Enzov and to become servant, no, but a queen. She's still the same thing. She wants to protect the people, but also her own strategy. But she wanted to become still a queen. And she bargains, now even more demands with Enzov <laughs> to become a queen. Well, she may be a villain, especially with Odenaga and Dwayne. But you must say this is kind of badass for a, a Shara <laughs> to say <laughs> no and demand something to an old god. Oh my hell. It's like when you go to your boss and said, yeah, the boss said, yeah, you have to do this or you're fired. No. No, then you're fired. No, but I want her ways. And the boss says, yes, you get a ways, but you get slaved. To work every day from 9 to 9 p.m. So yeah, something like this. And then all the people you work with, they are now your commanding your big army to let your big boss get all the money. Yeah, that's just a real life way to see this. But uh, yeah, this seems impressive. I'm very curious about how this bring into Battle for Azeroth. How this story with Azara and Enzov will get in play. Will we see Queen Azara? I think yes in this expansion because with this Warbringer it is too obviously to not use Queen Azara probably in a way as an end boss. Will we see Enzov? That one I'm not sure. Because at this footage you saw, Enzov is big. Maybe we see something at the back. Maybe some kind of imprisonment we see with also Sargaris at the end of Legion. But I'm not sure if we're going to fight Enzov or maybe try to imprison him, weaken him, so that as of the Titan Azeroth's soul inside the planet can imprison it again. Maybe our hearts of Azeroth can help so also with uh, our Azerite collecting. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But we will see. Thank you for watching. Till next time.